Hi, my name's Tim Woodman from Management Learning Coaching. I'm going to take you on a little journey of the discovery that we've um, been going on um, that helps us with staying um, as leaders in the learning and development industry. So I'm going to share with you a number of steps that we went through. First up, I'm an engineer. Learning's got to work. It's got to stick. And I learned really early on that I don't want to be competing with the 12,000 other competitors out there. I want to be competing by myself somewhere else. In other words, be a leader. And so here are some of the things which I hope will help you realise uh, uh, that actually as a learning and development organisation, we really um, uh, uh, are taking that to heart. The first thing, Herman Ebbinghaus's forgetting curve. 80% of what we try to learn disappears out of our brain cell 24 hours later. We've done something about that. The principle of 10,000 hours is all about practice. You want to become world class at something, you've got to keep practicing. We've done something about that. We learned from Sky Media after the, the financial crisis um, of, of the last um, decade that they realised that they weren't training people or providing people with information when they needed it. They were developing people, but they weren't providing those people that were really stuck in the moment with information at that time. A little bit like the car breakdown service. You need the car breakdown company there in the moment when you sat by the side of the motorway with your car broken down. Why wouldn't it be the same with learning and development? When somebody has a challenge, why isn't there somebody on hand to give them the insight directly? Yeah, continue to do the development work, which is your car maintenance, but what about the stuff when it's when it's when I've broken down by the side of the road? The principle of marginal gains was really brought to our attention um, with the British cycling team and the fact that they started to win just about all the gold medals out there. And um, I didn't quite understand marginal gains, what that's all about. That's lots of little things. Mm, yeah, OK, so we get that. But how do we apply that in business? What are these little things? Well, there's the difficulty. A penny drop for me. I'm actually a Great Britain triathlete, sprint distance. I compete for age groups in my age group and I've been competing around the world for the last decade or so. Um, and I was on my way to um, in Cozumel to the World Championship race where the two Brownleys were, were competing and I happened to be talking to the Australian coach next to me. I said, how come you guys are not, not winning the, 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 uh, the World Champs anymore? And he said, the lottery money. He said, you're using the lottery money to fund how do you find out about those marginal gains? What are they? And then you're giving those to the athletes so that they can get better at what they do. We don't have that funding, therefore we don't have the time or space to be able to do that. I then came across a book called Micro Mastery that applied the principle of marginal gains. It said, learn small, learn fast, learn long. Learn small, by what, what we mean by that is there will be a little technique or a trick or a way or a framework that you can apply that will get you good at something really quickly. I realised that our business, that's what we train. We train business skills. And if you package it up in those little, in, in that way, and then people go away, practice that, they'll get better at it. But you're not ta talking about s sending somebody away on a, on a training programme for a couple of days. You're talking about 10 minutes. Here you go, read this. Will that make a difference? Yes, it will. Off you go. Last thing I want to share with you, you won't get what you expect, but you will get what you inspect, an age old adage. We now use a software package that measures the business impact of what the, the people who go and have this learning are actually doing with it. Therefore, justifying the cost of learning and development. Have you heard that before? Why don't you come and talk to us? My name's Tim Woodman, Management Learning and Coaching.